If you ever wonder what herbs you should definitely be picking and read that online, well, in this video, I'm going to show you my top five herbs to pick to maximize your crafting while at camp. Stick around. Howdy Cowpoke, Austin BMX here and thanks for checking out today's video. Today we're going to be talking about crafting and collecting herbs in Red Dead Online. Now this video may not be you know, your forte in the game, but we really like this aspect of the game because we, it brings in more immersion and different involvement in the world of Red Dead Online and the world is evolving and fantastic just to go out and roam around. If you love just to make money, grind out the money, you know, get your gold, get your cash, go buy stuff at the store. That's no problem. But if you'd like to go out and actually collect herbs, do some other gathering, go to camp, use your campfire, do some crafting uh, while you're doing all the other things in the world, then this video may be just what you're looking for. So in this video, I'm going to show you my top five herbs I always pick up so I can maximize my crafting efficiency while at camp. So there are a whole bunch of stuff you can actually craft at camp. If we jump into our little uh, crafting menu here at any campfire, well, not any, there are a few across the map that you can not do anything at, but most of them you can. If we go over to tonics, there are quite a few here you can do. There's quite a few that you have to purchase, most of the ones in here you do, but anything that is potent, you get at the beginning of the game. So we have potent bitters, potent miracle tonic, potent health cure, and potent snake oil. Those are the four that we're going to be looking at, and three of them that we're going to be actually talking about the most. So if we look at these, the Potent Bitters gives you a level 2 for your Stamina. Uh, the Potent Snake Oil is level 2 for your Dead Eye, And the Potent Health Cure is level 2 for your Health. Um, now if we go up to the Potent Miracle Tonic, it pretty much is the same thing, just all in one, right? It's a level 2 Health, level 2 Stamina, and level 2 Dead Eye. The reason I don't talk about the potent Miracle Tonic as much is because if you look down here, it takes four Indian Tobacco, four Ginseng, and four Sage to make. That is 12 herbs to collect, right? 12 herbs. Quite a lot there. Now, if we look at the potent Health Cure, that takes one Ginseng and one Yarrow. That's two herbs. The potent Snake Oil takes one Indian Tobacco. That's one more to make three. And then the potent Bitters takes one Sage and one Burdock Root, which is another two. So that's five. So to make a potent miracle tonic in the way of three different tonics it only takes five herbs instead of 12 that this one takes so we'll be talking about making the single ones a lot more than just this, this one here because i think it's way more efficient with the use of your herbs if that makes any sense my favorite place for collecting herbs is around round roads uh, right now we are up in uh, big valley because i was doing some other video editing and we were just in this area and it got daylight so i thought i'd get this video put out um but we're going to show you where all this stuff is at, uh, where we collect it, and what it looks like. So for Potent Bitters, which is the first one we'll look at here, this is to uh, give yourself a two-level gold for your stamina. It takes one Sage and one Burdock Road. Now there are a few different Sages to use. Uh, I like to use the Hummingbird Sage because it is found down by roads where a lot of this other stuff is found as well. Take a look at the map real quick. I can show you exactly where the Sage and the Burdock Root is found. If we go down by roads, so I like to find it right over here in roads uh, along this edge of the water right here. Uh, usually, maybe up in these woods as well. Uh, also, you can search for some right here. Um, but uh, right here on this peninsula is where I find lots of the sage. Um, and then right along the edge of this water is where I find a lot of the burdock root. So the sage that I find is Hummingbird Sage. It's showing up on the screen right now. It is a nice bright purple flower. I highly recommend just looking at these for a while. Once you collect them quite a lot. They're pretty easy to find, but this is the sage that I find, the hummingbird sage found down by Rhodes. We switch it up over to the burdock root. It also is bright and purple, easy to see. It's found near water, but not on the water's edge. So that's what we like to look for it down in this area. So it's close to the water, but in the grassy area is the burdock root here, and it is also purple. Plus two purple flowers to find the sage and the burdock root to make your potent bitters. Now it does take one of each to make this, which is super easy to find, right? You can go down there and take a couple minutes and find five or six of each of those and then make five or six of these because none of this stuff that we are going to make overlaps any of the herbs. That's another good thing as well. I like these three pieces of craftables because they don't overlap on what you need to make them. 
So next we'll go down to the potent health cure. This is also takes two herbs, one of each. It takes one ginseng and one yarrow. Now the ginseng is a little harder to find, but it is out there and the yarrow is pretty easy. We take a look at our map real quick. I'll definitely show you a few spots to find all that stuff. The yarrow is found pretty much all over the good old Heartlands area. That's where we find it. If you go from Emerald Ranch and just cruise out here in uh, this fieldy area here, it's found a lot out in the fields um, or right around here by uh, Sidel Rock out in the open fields and look for the yarrow. I would highly recommend you'll find a lot of it out there. Showed on the screen right now is what Yarrow looks like. It's a nice bright red flower, pretty tall, easily noticeable from a distance. So make sure you guys are scanning the horizons when you're out in the prairie for those to find that, that Yarrow. Um, and then we have the Ginseng. The Ginseng, I'll pop it up on the screen right now. It actually is a pretty, it's the smallest of the flowers we're looking for. It usually is by itself. You want to look under trees and if you see a glistening flower or glistening plant and herb in a distance by itself by a tree and it's small it's probably going to be a ginseng so definitely go get it some good spots over here on the map to find ginseng um, of course are over here in valentine if you look in these foresty woods right here um, by the what is that that's the serial killer's house or down here by downs ranch in these woods as well some great places there they're ginseng all over the place of course, there's ginseng way down here in these woods that we are looking at. You might find a couple down here, or you might find some down here by good old Black Belt in these woods here. Uh, but a great place to go loot some ginseng if you're really looking for it is going to be way up here by Window Rock. If we zoom in really slow right here on this little homestead called Ches Porter, there actually is a ginseng farm right back here behind the barn, which has five ginseng in it every single day. So you can go loot those up pretty quick when you're looking to get some ginseng. Finding those two will easily be able to make you get that potent health cure and be able to craft that pretty easy. Last one we got, and one of the easiest ones and most efficient ones, is potent snake oil. Now, potent snake oil only takes one Indian tobacco, not two, one. One Indian tobacco to make one potent snake oil. And you can find Indian tobacco all over the woods and the forest where we are looking for the sage and the burdock root down by roads. Indian tobacco is found all over the place, actually. Um, here's a picture of it now on the screen. It's pretty tall, got a little bit of white flowers to it, kind of like a cotton plant almost looks like. So definitely look long for those. It's easily visible from a distance. Make sure you guys are watching for eating tobacco because I usually have a full satchel of eating tobacco because it's so much easy to pick. And I have a full satchel of pot snake oil. I can barely ever make this stuff because I, every time I use it, I can easily craft it again. And then I immediately almost have a full satchel of eating tobacco from finding it out in the world. So jump back to our crafting menu, the eating tobacco is one for one, the most efficient and pretty easy to make there. Definitely, I would highly recommend finding these five herbs so you can make these three tonics all the time while you're sitting at camp, waiting for Crips to do something and give you a little bit of a, some trade, some supplies to go do or, or anything like that. 15 minutes sitting here at camp and you can easily have all this stuff and just make sure you're going out there and getting those herbs while you're out and about. You don't even really have to be out doing that specifically. You can just find those all over the place anyway if you know what you're looking for. Now some people might say, why just buy those? Those are easy two stars. Uh, why don't you spend a lot of time and make the larger ones? Well, because I'd rather have a whole bunch of the easy ones to make than work really, really, really hard to make one of the level two like miracle special tonics, right? Uh, if we take a look at the tonics too, this saves you a lot of money actually. Take a look at the tonics. All three of these can be purchased. The potent health cure is $4.50. Uh, the potent bitters is five dollars, and the potent snake oil is five fifty. So that's actually equals fifteen dollars just to make these with only five herbs. So those five herbs can save you fifteen bucks every single time you make these, and it definitely is worth it. Well, Cowpoke, if you like this video or helped you out, make sure to smash that like button. If you're new around here, consider subscribing to the channel for more Red Dead Online content, including tips and tricks, news updates, gameplay, and just good old-fashioned fun. Hope to see you on the prairie sometime. But until then, see you later.